so sorry. I got really excited because today's Bible story has to do with olives and olive oil. And I just, I love olives, especially the kind that are stuffed with garlic. Back in biblical times, olives and olive oil were very important and very expensive. Olive oil was used for so many things. People used it to light their lamps, they used it to cook with, they even used it to sell or trade for other items because it was so valuable. But one day, something very sad happened to a family who loved God. A husband died and he left behind his wife and two sons. They were so sad and they didn't know what to do. <laughs> then a man came to their house because the husband owed him a lot of money. Where's my money? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no money to pay you when my husband owed you. <laughs> back then, the law was if you couldn't pay someone back, then they were going to take your sons as slaves. The widow knew that Elisha was God's prophet and that he would be able to help her. Going to ask Elisha for help is like you going to ask your family for help or maybe your Sunday school teacher, or your pastor. Elisha, Elisha, please help me! Yeah, 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 what do you need? I need money. Well, what do you have in your house? I have two boys and some olive oil. Go around to all of your neighbors and ask them for empty jars. Gather as many as you can and then go inside your house. Shut the door behind you and all of your sons and pour, pour oil into all of the jars. The woman did just what Elisha said. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go, go bring me another jar. There aren't any left. She lined up all of the empty jars and she started pouring the oil and pouring and pouring and pouring. But now all of the jars were filled with oil and she still had oil left. Then the oil stopped flowing. And she went and told Elisha all about it. You wouldn't even believe it. I didn't even have enough jars of oil. It's a miracle. Now go, sell the oil, pay the man what you owe. Then you and your sons can live on the oil that is left. Remember how the widow said, all I have is a little oil? What she was saying is that she didn't have anything that she thought was very important. Sometimes we might feel like we're not special enough or important enough for God. Maybe you think you can't sing well, or maybe you don't play sports well. But there's always something that you're good at, something that God created you for. We should learn from this Bible story and trust that God knows what he's doing. And he can use things that might not seem important to do big, big things. Before we go today, let's pray together. Well, thank you, God, for always taking care of us and always providing everything that we need. Please help us to trust you with the other things in our life that cause us to worry. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Join us next for the Super Fun Science Lab. Welcome back to the Super Fun Science Lab. Today we learned about Elisha and how he helped the widow and her sons and she just kept pouring that oil and pouring and pouring and pouring and it didn't run out until she ran out of jars. It was amazing. And she didn't feel special enough and worthy enough, but we know that's not true. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, makes everybody special and he has a plan just for you. Yeah, so today we're going to make something called elephant toothpaste. And these ingredients on their own, they, they're they nothing much. No, they don't do anything on their you own. You probably have hydrogen peroxide in your house to clean owies. Um, yes. We use soap to clean our dishes. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Yeast that we use to make bread. And I have warm water to go with yeast. And together, that alone, it'll become 
foamy. Mm -hmm. um, it'll grow in size, yeah. right? So yeah. just kind of like how the oil was being poured out and poured out and it became more than it was. Mm -hmm. I think our ingredients are gonna become more than what you expect. Let's see what happens. Because color is always better, it I'm gonna add fun. a couple drops of food coloring. Pretty colors too. I love purple. Okay, I'm gonna hand this to you. What's gonna happen? Well, do I, need I mean, my yeah. Okay, we're gonna use the funnel. Okay, so we got purple. And pink and blue uh, because of the soap. But right. let's see what happens. It's supposed to be awesome. And big. Oh. What? <laughs> That's super fun. Oh my god. It keeps going. <gasps> Ooh, Color. do you see all the marbled colors? Ooh, it's pretty on this side. Check it out. It keeps oh going gosh. and going. No wonder they call this elephant toothpaste. It looks like the stuff we spit <laughs> out after we're done brushing right? our teeth. It's all foamy. Wow. I think we needed more food coloring. You can just add some now and it'll just go down the side. It'll be beautiful. See? What? Add some pretty colors. Oh my gosh. That looks really cool <laughs> that's super fun it keeps going and going wow just like the oil mm -hmm. the oil kept going and going and going until there was just there weren't any more jars left and mm -hmm. God always provides for us like that but we have to have faith and believe that he will provide for us. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed this super fun science lab today. You can try this at home with parental supervision and we'll see you next week for some more fun sciencey things. Bye. Bye. Shut the door behind you. Gather all of your sons and pour water, oil, <laughs> waterly oil into those jars. <laughs> Can you suddenly see? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you do an Avery impression?